Well, good afternoon again. Don't these days come round really quickly? But oh my goodness, it's Friday. All right, now I know that at the moment Friday seems like, well, it's the same as any other day, any other weekend, but we do know that things are getting better. So, you know, let's just get that Friday feeling and see what's going on for today. So I'm really sorry that I posted on the wrong page on Wednesday. Hopefully you all found it. So I did share it and pass it on. So that should be okay. But today, at least I did do a double check to make sure I'm on the right page. So here we go. Tile number 128. Goodness me. Oh, do you know, it's lovely there to sort of look back and you must have some fabulous journals compared to before lockdown, I suppose. It's it's just lovely to see. So here, here we go. I'm so excited with this one because I thought we'd, uh, you know, we'd, we'd do something a bit different. I know the peacock was different and uh, what I'm seeing from what a lot of you have done, it's absolutely brilliant. And, um, you know, the, the colours and the things that you're doing with it, it's great. So, um... I'm go I thought we'd we'd go along a, a similar theme. You'll know what I mean when you sort of see this. So, okay, are we ready? I'm going to come in with my pencil. I do have, I'm, I'm sure you noticed, a Micron, an 01 and an 03 today because I'm wanting to do some thick and thin lines. Uh, yes, it is, Pat. It, it is. But, um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's all over the news. Oh, oh, hey, Garth, Christine, hi there. Okay, let's just take it down a notch. And I'm really excited to show you this particular tile today, but I just want to take a deep breath and just chill for a little bit. All right, I've drawn my four dots with my pencil and now I'm coming on down and I'm creating a border. So if we look at how wide my border is, it's sort of about as... A little bit wide, about as wide as my pencil, I prefer. If you want to sort of do something similar. But as we know, you, you don't have to. If you want to go a bit thinner, that's fine. All right. And again, I'm doing a, a pretty, st pretty straight. <laughs> oh, Elaine, I've just seen your post. You got my tile. Ooh, thank you for posting. And, you know, I'm sure all, all the tiles are coming through now. So please, it would be lovely if you could just reach out, if possible, to the persons that you've got. Just to, It'd just be nice to say, look, I got it, you know, but that'd be great. I know, Nadia, I know. Okay, so, so far so good. I'm just going to stick with the pencil for a moment. And I just want to do a really light bit of a guideline here. So I'm going to come on in and I'm going to create... Quite a large, you want to call it an orb or a bubble, whatever you, you like. Here we go. See, it's a little bit sketchy, just having it sort of round. But again, you don't matter really much because we're gonna, I'm not gonna use it completely, okay? All right. So within this then, let's uh, come on in. I'm just gonna add a little bit of a, Sort of an oval shape. I think it looks like a nose, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> oh. And I'm just going to add a little bit on the top. So it's sort of like two ovals going into one there. So see one and then one going underneath it. Okay. Right, I'm going to leave you thinking about that one for a while. And uh, I'm just going to come in a little bit larger and I'm going to focus to this side of the tile. Okay, so turn it round and I'm going to add in, let's have a look now, um, a little bit of a wave. I'm going to come slightly off that bottom section, I think, yeah. And I'm going to add a little bit of a wavy line. Okay, just taking my time, waving it on purpose. There we go. Okay. And just, I'm going to add a couple of areas a little bit thicker. But this is a nice thing, so you can bring a slightly thicker pen in and you can sort of add in 
couple of these. See both sides of the line, that's fine. Okay. I'm going to do another one this side. I'm just going to aura or follow that line. There we go. Just sort of get over the top and along. There we are. And again, I'm just going to add, just not in the same places, just a couple of little, uh, little bumps. Nothing crazy, just sort of filling a few in. Okay. Oh, do you know, it is, it's a lo it is lovely, isn't it, when you get your tiles in the post. I'm so pleased that they're coming through. It's great. All right. So, again, I'm going to stick with that thicker pen. And I'm just going to come on in here. I'm going to just draw in a line. There we go. Met yours is definitely posted, but we posted yours yesterday uh, because it had to go through the post office. I couldn't just put it in the letterbox. Okay. So then I'm going to turn it again. I'm just going to add a little bit of a line. Okay. And then let's just give that a little bit of a Oh wait, this is a bit like a triangle. Okay. So then let's have a line going up back. And then I'm gonna bring a series of lines now all the way out, going from that same point, each one nice and gentle. There we go. And then same again, but I'm going to go this way. So I'm always working from that same point just to create a little bit of a line there. There we go. And I'm just going to add in a couple of little sort of dots in there, not too far out to the edge, just sort of in that centre bit. There we go. <laughs> All right, so again, I'm going to do another, but a little bit smaller. So same as before, there's that subtle line. I'm, I'm using a thicker pen for this just because it just saves uh, the ink in my, my lighter one. Okay, and then when I turned it, and in with that little line there. Okay, and back in, just adding that. It's almost like giving it a little bit of a balance there. Okay, <clears throat> all right, same again, up we go. And I'm just, you see, if it goes into that other one, that's fine because that's what they do anyway. Just go straight over it if you, if you need to. And all the way around again, just from that same point. Okay. I know, I'm just keeping this one a little bit, of, a little bit of a surprise. All right, so let's have coming up from here, a little sort of curve. I'm just going to put one of those little blobs on the end. Oh, so sorry, Sue, sending out hugs. Hope you're okay. Let's add another one. Again, a little bit of a blob on the end. Let's just put one in here too, a little bit of a blob. Okay. All right, so I'm going to come back to this section now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in this sort of oval shape here. But I'm not drawing that whole oval. I'm just going to go to about there. Okay. And then... I'm going to bring this one in and around. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we've got this funny looking little shape now. So here we go. I'm going to, from sort of maybe about here, I'm going to put in a little sort of curvy kind of leaf shape, a little line up it. All right. And then same sort of here. Let's go. I'm going to have it on a sort of a wonky type of line there. And a little line in it. 
All right. <laughs> okay. Let's just add a little bit of a line there. Okay. And let's have a couple of little curves. And a couple of little bubbles there. Okay, so let's go a little bit larger now. Okay, let's uh, start with a little dot. <laughs> and I'm going to come around. Now I'm not going to go too tight with this spiral. There we go. And I'm not going to sort of go too large. <laughs> And then another little dot. And then again, I'm going to come around. Again, I'm not going to go too tight with that spiral. Okay. Let's do another. Here we are. So you see, they're not as close as I'd normally do. I've got a little bit of, sort of a little bit of a space between. I'm going to just fill that in there. There we go. And that bit. You can fill these in as you go, or you can always come back and do them afterwards. I think I'm going to take that. To... <laughs> okay, so let's bring that one so that joins. Little dot. And come one round again. And let's stop there. See, I've got a bit of a gap there. Let's just fill that bit in. No, Julie, if you have to ask, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's sort of a stylized one. I thought we'd go for something a bit different. I did promise, Lizzie, I did promise. Uh, but, you know, we, we can go quite literal and quite real, can't we? And uh, we can do a, a shape and then fill it. But I thought we'd actually create it with the tangles. There we go. See, I'm, I'm sort of trying to keep in, if I can, with the the shape that I've drawn. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, as I say, I, I am actually making the curves a little bit wider than I would normally do. See, they're quite a, a little bit more open than normal, but it's... Uh, that's what's going to happen, you know. If you've done them a bit tighter, that's fine. I just want to come in and uh, add a little bit more to them in a while. So you bear with me there. There we go. Okay, so what I'm, gonna, I'm just going to come on to this side now. I'm going to draw a few here because if you're not careful, you can get into a little bit of a routine where they're sort of all forming a pattern and we want more random. So sometimes it's it's better to actually move and go to a, a different part of your piece and uh, continue it. I'm not turning it round though, so I know that all my swirls are going the same way. But that, that that's fine. If you've decided you want to do different, it's entirely up to you. <laughs> now Elizabeth, come on, come on. <laughs> The elephant. Nobody mentioned an elephant. Uh, you know, this will be the second animal. It's, this obviously animal week, isn't it? Well, I don't know. We call the peacocks a bird, isn't it? But you know what I mean? Similar, longer theme. There we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, Viv. <laughs> go on a green tile. Well, you could have, I don't know, you could uh, use a, a half tile, a, a white one. So you've got a green tile for the background. You know, like we did before, you can uh, collage it up a bit. Be, uh, quite a nice, nice one. Now, I feel like I should be saying thank you for my tile too. But, um, I, uh, I took it home yesterday because I meant to message 
whoever's tile I got, I can't honestly remember now, it's lovely tile. Um, but didn't quite get round to it. And of course I've uh, I've left it at home, so I will I'll post it and I'll message you later. <laughs> yeah. Dobby just got in the way eventually, he was all over the place, he couldn't get him to help. We thought he was gonna help us, you know, and pick a few tiles maybe, or you know, pick them up for us so he could pick them up and then Leslie could uh, put the envelopes. But no, he just wanted to throw himself around. But I don't know. He did get, <laughs> he did get silly doing his little snow angels. If you've seen that photo, it's hilarious. Did make us giggle. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so there's no rush with these, just sort of take your time. Uh, Christine, we got 120 tiles. Oh, it was a really good tile swap, really good. And uh, it was fantastic. They had the, the standard, you know, I, I know there's quite a lot of you have done all three now and I know I didn't sadly get all of number two but you know even from tile one the standard and we noticed this time there was a lot more colour and, uh, and stuff like that they were really really lovely we were really impressed so yeah he's for tile swap four are we up for it sure we are Leslie and I are so sure that would be great so, of course that's the third Monday in the month isn't it so <laughs> So I don't know what date the third Monday of this month is. Is it is it coming up next week or is it the week after? I'd have to check. But if you wanted to take part in it, then that's when I do the video. On this page, of course. Third Monday in the month. And then you get a couple of weeks within which to sort your tile. Yeah. And then there it all happens again. I'm really impressed with it, really good. There we go. Oh, is it? Thanks for the 19th. It's the 19th. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See, Leslie's got Alf ears as well. <laughs> oh, 19th. That would have been my sister's birthday. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at this. Isn't he cute? <laughs> okay, I'm going to come in now with my slightly thicker pen. This is my 03 from uh, my little limited edition packs. They're lovely. It's uh, if you've got the same pen, it really doesn't matter. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to thicken a little bit the lines up. So let's have a look at this one. I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some weight to that side there. It's almost like giving them an extra bit of a smile on that side. Okay. And because I'm using a slightly thicker pen, it just means that I don't have to work that O one or O two nib as hard. See a little bit there look to fill in. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh Swiss roll. You know, actually that was one thing when I was teaching at school. I didn't mind making Swiss roll because it takes minutes, doesn't it? There we are. Although you could go to uh, you know one of the local supermarkets. But it's got to be one without the cream in. It's got to be. Just jam. <laughs> I know, he's lovely, isn't he? <laughs> uh, you don't, it depends where you, you actually put the head. As to, you know, where he, um, you know, the character and things. So where you put the head and where you add the ears or what angle. So if my head had been slightly higher up, then it. You know, he would have, he would have had a completely different, <laughs> a completely different character. But I think this is the beauty of these these things as well. They're quite nice to do, and uh, they don't take too long. But you can, uh, you know, you've got they've got a story to tell, haven't they? And it just means it's uh, a little bit fun. You know, sometimes life's a little bit too serious, isn't it? We just need to sort of back out a little. There we go. So I'm 
things that you've got here, just little bits and bit of aspects. All right. <laughs> oh, it just looks like a ball at the minute. <laughs> it's got no legs. We'll, <laughs> we'll sort that in a minute. We will, promise. All right, I'm just going to come round, I think, the uh, the bottom part of See, I've already called him a he, <laughs> bottom part of his head. <laughs> I suppose, like, you could you could use that kind of face to turn it into a hippo. I know a sheep might be a slightly more triangular, but we're, we're not looking for an absolute realistic sheep. We just, just thought we'd do something a little bit of fun. <laughs> there we are. So just sort of adding a little bit of weight to, to these. Let's have a look. Okay, you see the difference where I've just gone a little bit thicker here and these are still to do, so you can tell. Oh, Lisa, do you know I'm terrible for naming things? So, uh, no, not yet. It hasn't got a name. It's just sheep. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. I think it just sums up my week, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I know we've had a good week. It's been really busy, which is great. And thanks to everybody you know out there who who orders from me, you know, and, lo and likes my products. So yeah, we've been uh, you know we've been on air. We've been packing, <laughs> been creating something new. So uh, yeah, well, again, that's something. Uh, and something a little bit fun that we've come up with. So I have these crazy ideas. And I go, yeah, let's do that. And then John and Leslie roll their eyes at me and they're like, okay. So it's nice, isn't it? Just to uh, something a little bit different. See this, the peacock that we did the other day is slightly more, I don't know, grand or uh, decorative this one is a completely different feel it's uh, just a little bit of fun okay so i'm just working my way around just finishing off and adding that little bit of weight see it's a lot easier isn't it with a slightly thicker pen there we go Working my way around. There we are. Okay, I'm almost done. You see, it's sort of kept to its bubble shape. I've not been seriously strict, but I, you know, I've got a couple working out, but that's absolutely fine. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's let's give him a little bit of a leg. There we go. So we want one here. One here, looks like he's been eating too much grass, doesn't he? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put one up here now. I know this looks a bit weird. But so hang in there. Okay, one there. <laughs> Aww. So I'm just gonna bring that down onto, onto there a little bit more. Okay. And let's sort of give it a little bit of a sort of stump at the bottom there, you see? <laughs> oh, thank you, Kena. That's really nice of you. So, that's, that's sort of what it's intended. I don't want to stress you out <laughs> and give you something that you can't possibly do. It's, you know, it's nice to work with. You know, keeping it simple, nice lines. Okay, we challenge you now and again. That's it. Uh, you know, I suppose somebody's one person's challenge is somebody else's absolute pleasure, isn't it? So there you go. All right, oh, look at that. It's lovely. All right, I'm just going to come in with my slightly thinner pen. I'm going to turn it that way, okay? Because of course, you know, we we need a little bit of um, a bit of ground for it to stand on. So there you go, a little bit of a wave. It's gonna see I could come in with my slightly thicker pen here and do this, but 
it's not too bad there. I'm just going to touch it up gently. And then, of course, I'm going to add another one in here. There we are. Just a wavy line. Just add a few of those little sort of bumps. There we go. <laughs> Maybe it's got long legs. <laughs> let's have a look. Okay. All right. So I think um, coming in there, let's just add a little bit of weight to the bottom of those ears. There we are. Okay. A little bit of a... Yeah, a little bit of hair on top there. Okay. So I'm back in with my, th my sort of thinner pen. And I'm just going to add a couple of those little curves with bobbles on. There we go. Same there, like. All right. So back in with that thick pen. I'm just going to come in at an angle now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have a little bit of a line there. It's almost like a, a slight curve coming through underneath there. Okay. And then again, let's uh, add in that line and that triangle. You see where this is heading? And let's just give him one of those little flowers. Oh, I didn't put the dots in that one. Look. There we go. And then, oh, same on this side. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm just adding in some little dots there too. Okay. Oh, look at him. Oh. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to come on in and I'm going to bring in this border. I'm not going to worry too much if it's straight or not. Uh, oh, Alicia, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's a problem. I think if you've got a tile and you just want to put it on from the swap, say thank you. I think that's fine. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, I haven't. Have I posted? No, I haven't. I do need to do it. I'll actually post a picture of all of them together because it looks really impressive. Um, so you can see. I think there might just be one missing because there is one that I have to send before I send the others because it's um, it's got a postage on it that has to be sent by a certain time. So, okay, all right. But yeah, I will post that in a little while. All right, I'm just going to add an extra line on. You see, I'm, I'm sort of waving it slightly on purpose this time there we are see so it just sort of gives it a little bit of a different feel let me go a little bit larger so you can see it okay all right so it doesn't have to be massive but just giving it a little bit of a slight different line you see <laughs> oh Deborah, that's the fun of it though isn't it now it's usually we we don't show you what we're gonna do. I think sometimes if I was to show you what you were gonna do, you might look at it and think, "No way, <laughs> we're gonna do that." Uh, so it's nice that it grows, and you know you get this sense of well, it doesn't really matter because nobody knows what it's gonna come out like. Okay, so we've got a bit of a wobble round, and the reason I've I've done that is I want to sort of add to it. So I'm going to start, oh, look at him, over here. And I'm just going to bring in a little curve and a bobble on the end. You see, just like, it's like we've done in the picture there. And then another. Now, the the sense, I suppose, is that you, you then do another one of these and then another one of these and you carry on. So I'm going to break that mould and I'm just going to add one going the same way you see just sort of change them up a little bit if you can you see some are going to be closer than others you can have a bit of a gap and cross them over we're just going to work our way around now these have got a little bit of that bobble on the end you find if um, 
Again, if you sort of think, oh, I'm getting into a bit of a pattern here and I don't want to, then go and start on another part of the tile and work from there. And then sort of you come back and meet it in the middle. So there we go. Just uh, working my way around. See, I'm going to do one crossing in there. All right. This is a really nice tangle. If you've got set two, I think this is one that we decorated around the edge of the B originally. So, so it comes back, it's a really good one to sort of give a little bit of shape to the outside. So, really sweet, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right, so you might say, I'm coming up to a corner, what am I gonna do here? Well, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna sort of turn it and then see, just have, have one coming slightly over and then just keep it going. Okay. So it's no rush. Just ever so gently. See, I'm going to keep these quite small here just because I don't want to sort of go really too far into that flower that's sitting there. But I want to keep that border going. There we go. You just you know, take the time to make sure that you've got these uh, little bobbles coloured in on the ends there. So I'm going to add another one of those that way. Just uh, just looks nicer that way if you you know just take your take your time to do it. There we go. All right, and into these, nice and gentle. Let's, uh, no rush with it. Sometimes we don't really make much of the borders. They're there and then we just... Oh, is it Lorraine? <laughs> you know, it's it's nice just to sort of bring, bring the border in and, and make something of it. Okay, so just going to turn it again. Gosh, I know. It's made me laugh. It's made me giggle today. I like this one. Not quite as much as the Hermes joke. That was a long time ago. But yeah. If you don't know what we're on about there, we um, we were talking about Hermes, you know, the, the courier. Somebody actually mentioned about it, but spelt it incorrectly. And uh, it made us all laugh. It was really funny. Okay. So there we go. Just try and make them different if you can. Yeah, sometimes you do. If you, you know, if you feel that you're getting too much of a, uh, say, a pattern, move it and start somewhere else. There we go. And then come back on yourself, and that's going to give it a slightly different sort of effect. You want to be trying to keep it different if you can. Right. He looks really weird upside down, look. <laughs> Oh my word! There we go. <laughs> I carry on this way now. Oh, it's funny. Now I know we say sometimes that our tiles can be any way up or down, but I think this one's definitely got to be the other way. But he's got a headache, hasn't he? Being upside down for so long. Yeah. Okay. This would make a great card, wouldn't it? Just to say hello to somebody. You know, thinking of you. It's, uh, it's really sweet. <laughs> okay, just in the, keeping it going. Okay, and there we go. I don't know if anybody's noticed as well, I've added some more videos to YouTube. So I'm going to try and get that sorted over the next week or so. So all the uh, the videos we've got are on there. I'm going to we've made a good start anyway. I think I've done oh, oh, one to twelve's there. I think there's fifteen and sixteen missing, but then we're up to twenty one. So I'll get I'll get round to it. <laughs> yeah, no, don't say mince horse. <laughs> good. There we go. All right, so there's our sort of little 
image to start with. I'm just going to put the lid on my pens for now. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to worry about this outline here in this sort of pencil mark. I'm going to leave that in. But I think that's a really nice sort of um, way of <laughs> a way of just seeing that it's actually been drawn. Okay, so here we go then with pencil. I'm just going to add just some pencil over the top. You know where we actually made them a little bit heavier? Well, you see there, I've got a little gap there. Let's just come on and just fill that with a bit of ink. There we go. Is there any more? No, I think we're good. <laughs> okay, so back in with a pencil. I'm just lightly adding a touch just over the the heavier lines. There we are. There we go. Just uh, don't worry about trying to make it really neat. We're not going to worry about that. That's what the tortillons for. Okay, just working my way around. There we go. There he is. And then, of course, we need a little bit. Now, of course, you, we've already got some here because uh, we, we drew it with pencil to start with. I'm just going to add a little bit of heavier, just at the bottom of the ears there. Okay. All right. So here we go then. Tortillon. Let's start with the start with the face. Just going to add ever so gently, just sort of soften round. I'm going to try and leave that little bit in the middle white. But you see, I've left a little bit of a gap, that's fine. And just a little bit round the top there. And of course, if you want to add some eyelashes, go ahead and do that. But, uh, I'm going to leave him as is there. And let's just flick out some of that pencil into the ear. See, leaving the tips white. Same there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, Richard, aren't all <laughs> male sheep called Ewan? <laughs> I don't know, I just get that impression. All right. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm keeping the pencil just around this bottom section. I'm just softening it off a little, just to, to give it a little bit of definition. I might actually bring my white pencil out, my white chalk pencil. Just to enhance the top, but we'll, we'll see if it needs it. <laughs> All right, I've seen enough with the sheep jokes now. You like it's like <laughs> it's like listening to John. Yeah, he's had a stressful couple of days. So of course, we've had to have a, a new tube for one of our laser cutters. So he's uh, trying to get that sorted, and I'm saying no, it has to run. <laughs> I've got things to get out. No, it's one of those things that happens, you know, we try and change them once a year because it, it does affect the quality if you keep it running and it shouldn't do. Here we go. All right, so he's got a little bit of colour on there. Um, I'm going to think about the white and then uh, I'm going to come back to him in a second. So I'm going to stick with pencil and I'm just going to add some to that inner edge of those little flowers. Of course, Working on that one, I know you can't see it fully, but it's there. And if I just turn it, I'm just going to add a little bit in there. So you're not completely colouring each one, just adding a little bit. Uh, okay, just softening round. Ah, it's tea time! Yeah. A bit late, master, sorry. <laughs> You see what I have to work with? <laughs> just a little bit of a softening there, just to give that impression of a bit of, a bit of grass. We could even come in. Ah, oh, no, let's come in with a green pencil. Do I have here? I've got my chameleons out at the minute. <laughs> see, just come in and add a touch of green over. See, now this is where it's not as the green's not as bright because we've put pencil in to sort of 
get started with but sometimes you don't want it to be a serious colour there we go see might even uh, come in what have I got here a little bit of um, oh, a hot pink let's just add a touch to uh, those flower heads there I know I didn't say I'd got pencils to start with but I do apologise it just feels like it needs a little bit there you go you see the pink there okay all right back to regular pencil and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just work around the outer edge of this border there we go <laughs> She went, I'm never going to give Leslie a sock. I don't want her to be free. I need her there. <laughs> oh, no. We do get on well, Leslie and I. <laughs> it's all in good taste. <laughs> oh, okay, so as we know, when we're covering quite a lot of area, we don't really go in with swirls. We're just coming on in and just sort of working along, see, just to get it going. And same again, along here. There we are. All right, so it's quite a heavy sort of uh, shadow, this one. A secret. <laughs> oh, you leave my sheep alone. <laughs> you can do what you like with your own sheep. Okay. All right. So again, just sort of looking it down. There we go. <laughs> there we are okay so let's have a look see where we're at with him all right i'm just going to come back in now with my regular pen and i'm just going to redefine that edge of that border now remember we've got two lines going on here so i'm just going to come in with a i suppose a third i'm, I'm following ever so loosely and then uh, working down, just working it along. See, it just sort of brings it back and uh, redefines that area. There we go. Oh, Susan, uh, if you've missed a uh, if you've missed the one from Wednesday, then I've pinned it to the top of my page, this page you're on now. Otherwise, you can click on the videos button and there's all of them are there, they're all listed there. And on that, I say, I've, I have started putting them onto YouTube, so. There we go. Just uh, got my white chalky pencil or pastel, whatever you want to use. And I'm just coming in, I'm just going to add some white to the tops of these uh, little swirls. Now, of course, you might not sort of really see it on the camera there because I'm sort of working on a, an off-white creamy tile. Um, but I think it's, you can sort of, if you look at these compared to these, you can see the slight difference. Oh, so now I'm saying... I absolutely love getting out a new tortillon and a, a new pen is a cause for celebration and you'd think the amount of pens I must go through but everyone it's lovely absolutely so no you're not on your own there but I don't think I've ever been any different I was I've always liked pens and pencils I'm always happy when I'm uh, using the scissors and cutting things and yeah, I'm just gonna just have a touch of white in there too, you know, just sort of give him a little bit of a shade, a little bit on the ends, just just sort of really going over, you know, just where the highlight should be. Okay, let's have a look at that. 
right. All right. So, there's our lovely little sheep. Now, I think we just need to redefine just a little bit. You know, just to sort of make sure that we can identify there. But there we go. He's got an ear there. Look, an ear there. That's it. Okay. Oh, oh. They say the the clear, the clear glaze are absolutely fabulous. Um, if you use them and then ink over the top and things. So I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to add a touch more pink. You know, just to sort of. I'm going to do it, let's do it. Just to those, and a little bit on this one. It shows them that he's got a bit of pink. Or maybe just a little bit of pink in there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. That's about as much as I want to do on uh, on my little sheep today. But by all means, as I've said then... Why not come on in and uh, and add it to a card? You know, just just to say, uh, thinking of you, <laughs> or how are you? Um, <laughs> just uh, yeah, just have a little bit of enjoyment with this one. It's just it's a little bit of fun, and and I thought being that we did the peacock on Wednesday, it'd be nice to sort of continue that theme of little characters. Um, and again, this is a lovely one that I don't know maybe. You could do a little bit of a plique embroidery on if you wanted to, or you know, make it bigger, do a few of them, you know, add them to... Uh, we, we did a tile not long ago, didn't we, with um, sort of a snowy scene, so you could create a background pretty easy and uh, work it from there. Yeah, or oh, Bridget, the, the glaze pens, are, you can get them from Amazon, I'm sure. I think I've got about 12 here. I could put them on my site um, over the weekend if you want one and uh, we'll go from there. So, okay, um, <laughs> have a go at this one, honestly, have a go and I'm sure you'll love it. I'm going to be uh, getting back to, I'm just finishing the packaging on one of the new products. So I'm going to get back to that now and that'll be out and sorted for uh, 16th and 17th of April. So have a really, really good weekend, everybody. You take care, stay safe and, you know, as much as you can. But for now, put your feet up and uh, have a really, really uh, nice weekend. And I will speak to you again on Wednesday. Seems so long away, but it's not. I'll see you Wednesday. You take care, everybody. Bye.